Welcome back, amigos. So, totally throw out what I just said in the last video. Just kidding. Uh, there's this one thing that Mr. Trevino did to make it all work, and you just have to understand these conceptually, okay? So the rule here is, six majors, six minutes, in and out. Let's do it. Hey guys, whatever you do, do not lag, okay? This is the first idea. So, um, lag should be um, a consequence of having, I feel, a soft enough grip on the way back. So, trying to increase that or hold on to it, um, it just leads to collapsing and, and firing angles way late, which usually means throwing the club out away from you and then having to early extend so you don't hit the ground, right? So don't do that, okay? Um, so right here, um, I'm basically gonna go into a couple different things, um, but here's one little drill where you could try it. Basically feel sand, like you, you know, it's on your face, like you're gonna like, you know, practice a bunker shot, and then you're gonna hold that face, and you're gonna toss the club behind you. Now what that's doing is um, basically teaching you to feel the weight of the head, right? If you can't feel the weight of the head, how are you gonna like, drop it into the slot, right? So, don't do that. Um, idea number two, um, it's an anti-field. So, you are going to not want to load up these wrists and max them out, okay? If you max anything out in the swing, you're gonna eliminate your connection to the club face. Um, sounds antithetical to what we're trying to do, but the more sensitive you are and the softer you are, so out of you know, 1 to 10, if your grip is a 7, you've already probably gone a little too far. Um, so, drill 1. Um, we already covered that one, but I kind of labeled it here. Um, basically, you're going to want to take two clubs, and you're going to want to independently feel the club head with your right hand and your left hand. Now, I know that we've always harped on, and Trevino does too, uh, keeping your left hand in control, right? Well. I think that, you know, each of us is a little different, okay? Uh, in the moment of truth, yeah, you want to feel that strong left hand and, and keep the, the three fingers of the left hand really firm. Um, now the right hand, um, if you're going to go a little stronger underneath, um, I'll explain why that's really helpful and why you can kind of hold on to angles and rotate through. Um, here so uh, let's see here the next one uh, lead hand leave side um, this is really important to um, feel you're gonna have to feel what they call in the book a brink of disaster okay um, if you're not freely turning through the shot I think that one of the best ways to do this is to be willing to hit terrible shots on the range like really bad ones okay like thin fat the, all the above skulls whatever but the main point is to get to your lead side and not slow down any instinct to hit at the bottom is gonna either keep your arm pinned where you're gonna end up at impact with a, a chicken wing this way or you know trying to hold off the face or you're gonna collapse the other way coming through so um, be willing to be bad uh, you're just gonna get through that little rough patch um, now you're seeing me here kind of get into the idea um, these are kind of like little reminders that I always give myself is that you know you want to keep the inertia of the club going all the way through so what I'm trying to do is rehearse slowly my body clearing through and I can only clear through as fast as the club is moving around me. Um, I want to be a control player that's what I was missing so um, this can obviously be, you know, multiplied to gather speed. Um, I myself have seen some speed increases, but you also lose the shape and the control. So, you know, you got to pick and choose, right? Um, let's see here. So, um, we're almost done here. The next uh, drill is. Um, there's a lot of talk of like setting up against the wall or like something to shallow the club and 
I guess that helps people get around to rotation, but I feel like the shallowing and the rotation are two different things. Um, but one of the easiest things to think about conceptually is that, yes, the club will drop in and, you know, retrace the original shaft plane, but unless um, your hands drop those four to six inches, like he's doing here in this video, there's no way for you to reroute it and make sure that the head doesn't pitch out on you. So that's it for now. Um, we'll keep doing more of these and we'll get more in detail. Um, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. If you like this, we're going to keep doing more. Um, I'm just going to keep the little quick six minute format for everybody so we can get in and out and hit the range. All right. Talk to a fade because the hook won't. Right.